Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own a local chat GPT, uh, which is more secure and also free to use using Olama. So let me show you the demonstration of this project. So if I just say what is Java and you can choose any model from here. So this is just a basic model that I'm using, but you can use any of them. Just send it here. So this will be giving me a response. So here you can see, so this has given me this response, key features, application, and a lot more. You can also switch between the model. So I'm going to show you how you can develop this uh, using Olama. So if you haven't installed Olama, so I have shown properly on my previous video how you can set up Olama onto your system. So just check that video. So if you type Olama and enter, so if you see this kind of commands, then Olama has been install onto your system so to take the version so you just type hyphen v so this is my olama once the olama has been installed so just open any id uh, so i would prefer cursor so that you know it automatically generates some code so this is my code that i have created so let me close this code and again open the cursor you can also use this uh, for free so uh, you know check out my other video to install this so once you install cursor just open any folder so let me call it local chat ai so you can just, just give any name so it's just like chat uh, bot or uh, chat gpt let me go again into the terminal and if i just type olama and just type list so here you can see i have installed gamma and gpt and llama 3.2 so i have installed these three models so to install this model once you install the olama so just type olama and here if you go inside the olama and inside the models you can just choose between different models from here so suppose gamma 3 so this is from google so here if you see gamma 3 1 billion with the 1 billion parameter so we have 815 so i have installed this one so to install olama run and just copy this go inside terminal and paste once you have installed so this will uh, you know open this kind of inter interface so here also you can type what is Java. So this will give you the answer like this. So this is how you install. So suppose let me install the other one, diff seek, right? So let me install this one, small one with the five, 1.5 billion parameter. So if I go here and copy this and let me say slash by and just in place and enter here so this will be downloading this deep seek r1 uh, with the 1.5 billion parameter so let's wait for it to complete and install this first and then we will be uh, developing a local chat gpt like ai chatbot so let's install this thing so here you can see so this is uh installed now so now you can ask any question like what is deep seek so Deep Sea because uh, artificial intelligence founded in 2023 Chinese company, you know, something like this. So now this is not what we're going to do. So this is just like uh, installing a model inside a Olama locally. So if I just type Olama and list now here you see I have Deep Seek, Gamma, GPT OSS. So this is a cloud model. And so this one is a Llama 3.2. So I will be using these four models to create a chatbot like ChatGPT here. So now let me go into cursor. And here let me say create a chatbot UI like ChatGPT where I can choose between so you can simply copy these four models here so way i can choose between these four models and just say create using html css and javascript in clean and responsive ui designs so let's wait for this cursor to finish the chatbot ui let's see how it creates so it has already created the HTML file. Uh, this is getting the data from this localhost 11434. And let me keep all. Let me first run the application and let's see how it created. So here you can see, so this has uh, created a new chat here and you can choose between different models. 
and you can type the message here so it looks good but i'm not sure if i have run the server from olama so if i type olama serve this is saying the address is already in use but if i say olama ps so the deep seek and gamma are running but let me say olama the start this is saying the address has been already used it means like i think it's already running but in in your case if it's not running so just type uh, olama and serp so this should be working so now if i say what is chat gpt and send here so let's see we need to connect our api endpoint so here you see let's say i am using a local olama server so let's see what it does i think so it has to update this code here inside the script so let me keep all here yeah so this is what i'm saying now this will be using it from this one so if you copy this one and go inside chrome here and paste inside here so this says the method is not allowed but if you just type this so you can see the olama is running because i have done this olama serp already so you just need to type this olama serp if your uh, olama is not running inside the servers once you do that so this has done some changes here after some changes in the script.js so now this should be working so now let's say what is chat gpt so now let's see the response so now you can already see so this is loading it means it should be working now so here you can see so this has given a proper response so chat gpt is powered by this and it has given a proper answer so let's say what is the advantage of uh, using olama so let's say so and let's see what it does so it has given this is a type of computer that uses a nlp and improve conversation flow and it is still showing some of the characters so we can you know always uh, remove and tweak with this so let's try to use this diff seek r1 model uh, which is a chinese ai model so let's say what is ai let's wait for the response how fast it is it's not too bad as well but it's, it's not like the cloud model so we can always choose the cloud model as, as well so gpt oss these are more faster but you know uh they are not always the free so if you go on olama and into your profile so you'll be able to see the uses is limited for the cloud model so you know it's always better to download the free model and experiment with this one so you can see the dipsic r1 also has given the answer this is pretty uh, good to experiment with your uh, you know ai based application to develop the ai based application or you know even for your security reasons so this is pretty good so if you have like pretty good ram and storage so you can always go with the more parameters like so this is just the basic one with the 1 billion parameter so you can always go with the you know bigger model like if you see here so this one has the diff seek r1 uh 671 billion parameters so this will obviously give you a faster response but you you would need good amount of storage and ssd as well the ram as well so you know it's always better to use the larger model but if you have limited storage and ram so you can always go with the a least one so this is how pretty much you develop it so you can always go and change some ui let me do a screenshot here and ask a cursor to fix this the ui is looking messy fix this so you know this is how easy it is to code with these uh, ai coding platforms like cursor winsoft and you can even use the anti gravity and all these new ai tools so you know if you want to use anti gravity which is a ai id by google which has been recently released so i have got a separate video for that you can watch that video as well so let's see how it does for the uh, ui so after few chats so now i have removed this uh, toggle button that I, that was appearing here so you can always you know uh, tweak some of the things and ui so it's not a big deal but the thing is uh, you know we have successfully implemented the local chat ai model just like chat gpt so you can you know always use it for free so this is how you implement olama 
uh, to create your own local chat GPT like chatbot. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next video.